Ibu tahu diri tidak diberi. Oh, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be done glorified. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be done glorified. Ever since Father, ever since so, immortal Holy Ghost, be done glorified. Ever since Father, ever since so, immortal Holy Ghost, be done glorified. Ever since Father, ever since so. Immortal Holy Ghost, be done glorified. Everlasting Father, oh, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be done glorified. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be done glorify everlasting father everlasting son immortal holy oh, ghost be glorified everlasting father everlasting son immortal holy ghost be glorified Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be glorified. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost, be glorified. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, glorified. Oh, Everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, glorified. Everlasting Father, Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, Praise the living God, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, we bless the name of the Lord for bringing us once again. To sit at his feet, we are so grateful, we are so thankful. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy, he's mighty, he's excellent. We greet you all. May the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ for journey, for tuning in, for joining. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Virtual So Many Christ Ministry. Praise Master Jesus. Today is our the night page, right now. This is our night page in the program. Thank you for joining. May the Lord bless you as we are here to stand at the gap for our family, hold the roof for our family, for ourselves. Pray for ourselves, pray for our family, the body of Christ. Almighty God, Almighty God, we hear our prayer and we answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh Lord, my God. Thou excellent is your name in all the earth. Thou excellent is your name, O Lord, Lord my God. Thou excellent is your name in all the earth. Thou excellent is your name. O Lord, my God, thou excellent is your name in all the earth. Thou excellent is your name, O Lord. Lord, my God, thou excellent is your name in all the earth. 
I love to be in the presence of the Lord. I love to love to be in the presence of the Lord. There is joy forever, forevermore in the presence of the Lord. There is joy forevermore in the presence of the Lord. I love, I love to be in the presence of the Lord. I love to be in the presence of the Lord. There is joy forevermore 
in the presence of the Lord. There is joy forevermore in the presence of the Lord. Oh, I love to be in the presence of the Lord. I love to be in the presence of the Lord. There is joy forevermore in the presence yes. of the Lord. There is joy forevermore in the presence of the Lord. Oh, I love to be in the presence of the Lord. I love to be in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, there is joy forevermore. In the presence of the Lord, there is joy forevermore. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is joy in the presence of our Lord. Hallelujah Amen. to the name of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. I would like us to open to the book of Psalms. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is mighty. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Psalm, the book of Psalms. 134. Hallelujah. Amen. I read you in Jesus' name. Behold, blessed ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord that made heaven and earth. Blessed be out of Zion. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Amen. Jesus. You are now. We are the servants of the Lord. We are the servants of the Lord. We are going to bless our, our maker. We are going to bless him for his goodness, for his lovely kindness towards us, for his divine protection, protecting you, protecting me all every moment of the day. We bless the name of the Lord. Another brand new day here right now. Praise Master Jesus. Midnight, we bless the name of the Lord. We like us this hour. Let us open our mouth. Let us praise our Father. Let us bless his holy name in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Oh, heavenly Father, Merci Seigneur pour toutes les bénédictions de la vie au nom de toi. Merci Seigneur pour nous avoir délivré de nos péchés. Merci Seigneur pour nous avoir délivré de la vie. Merci Seigneur pour toutes les bénédictions de la vie. Papa, nous t'adorons pour tous tes actes. Nous célébrons ton Seigneur. Car tu es le Dieu tout puissant, le Dieu de l'univers, le Dieu créateur de la vie. Le Dieu est grand et puissant. Le Dieu d'Abraham, le Dieu d'Abraham. Le Dieu qui a fait la vie, le Dieu qui élève, le Dieu qui abaisse, le Dieu qui ouvre tes personnes de me faire, le Dieu avec qui tu es possible, le Dieu de mon salut, le Dieu de la Dieu, le roi des rois, le Seigneur des seigneurs, l'alpha et le bêta, le commencement et la fin, le premier et le dernier, celui qui est, qui était et qui vient, le Dieu qui demeure, tu dépends ici de fidèles, le Dieu miséricordieux. Compatissant, le Dieu là à la colère et riche en bonté, le Dieu qui fait voir les aveugles, le Dieu qui fait parler les muets, le Dieu qui fait entendre les sourds, le Dieu qui fait marcher les voitures, le Dieu qui guérit tout sauf de maladie, le Dieu qui sauve de l'enfer, le Dieu qui peut tuer le corps et l'âme dans la guerre, le Dieu qui guérit tout sauf de maladie, le Dieu qui pourvoit à mes besoins chaque jour, le 
Dieu te blesse pour moi. Le Dieu de mon salut. Papa, je te bénis. Je te loue et je te salue. Car tu es mon Père et mon libérateur. Tu es mon rédempteur. Tu es mon Père et mon sauveur. Tu es mon seul appui. Tu es mon Père. Tu es mon Père. Tu es mon Père. Papa, en toi, je me confie. En toi, j'espère. Car tu ne déçois jamais. Tu ne changes pas. Tu es le même hier aujourd'hui et même éternellement. Que ton nom soit béni. Que ton nom soit béni. Amen. Amen. We bless the name of the We are going to ask God for mercy. As the word of the Lord says that the righteousness of a man is like a fitting right to Almighty God. So we are going to ask God for mercy. I would like us to turn to the book of Psalms. Psalms, the book of Psalms 51. I will read the one and the two. Praise Master Jesus Christ. We bless the name. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Psalms 51, 1 and 2. Have, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy lovely kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me in a thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. From my sin, we are going to ask our God. We are going to humble ourselves before Almighty God. Our God is the God of mercy, the God that delights in mercy. We are going to humble ourselves and ask Him for mercy to wash us, to cleanse us, to purify us in any way that we are sinned against Him. The sin of omission, the sin of commission. We are going to ask Him for mercy to forgive us, to wash us, to cleanse us. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Father, <laughs> Please wash my Amen. In the book of uh, in the book of Revelation 12, 11. The book of Revelation 12, 11. So the, we are going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We are going to soak ourselves with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. We are going to cover ourselves with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood of the Lamb of God. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord. So the word of the Lord says here, the book of Revelation 12 and 11, say the word of the Lord that I read in Jesus' name. And the day overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, and they loved and not their, their lives unto their death. Praise Master Jesus Christ. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. You are now, we over, as a child of God, we overcome our enemy, the Satan, the devil. We overcome see him. We are overcoming him every day by the blood of the Lamb of God. Would I now, we are going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the program, cover the prayer point, cover the servant of God today that we deliver the, 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 the word of exhortation, the prayer point. We are going to cover each and every one of us. Let us 
pray the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, God Almighty, we cover our sins with the grace of the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, so body and now of my husband, the blood of Jesus Christ, and the blood of my father. And I took my heart to the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover our sins with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover this name with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover all our gadgets, our internet. Oh Lord God Almighty, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus fight for us, O Lord. Let the blood of Jesus redeem us from all power of sin, O Lord. Let the blood of Jesus justify us, O Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the blood of Jesus, Father, purify us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we exalt your name, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the power of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse the Lord. Find me from all fittiness of the spirit, all fittiness of the flesh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus free me from any power of darkness, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus erase any evil mark that is written in me, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. As the word of the Lord says in the book of Ephesians, sorry, in the book of Ephesians 10, sorry, sorry, in the book of Ephesians 6, 11. Praise Master Jesus. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Ephesians 6, 11. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to understand against the wise of the devil. That is the word of the Lord. That you and I, we should put on the whole among God so that you and I will be able to stand against the, the wise of the devil. There is devil out there, beloved. So before we are going right now to pray, we are going to put on the whole among God. We are going to cover ourselves with the whole among God for God to protect us, to protect our mind, to protect our heart. Any doubt of the enemy fire will not reach us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us begin to wear ourselves right now. The whole armor God, let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, 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 in the name of Jesus of Jesus, I cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I seal it with, O Lord God Almighty, with the precious blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord God Almighty, Father, my head should be the name of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, blessed be that holy name, Lord God Almighty. Blessed be that good holy name, Father. I cover all my children one by one, Lord, by the armor of God. I exalt your name, Father. I thank you, my Lord and my King. Jesus, my King, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise Master Jesus. We are going to invite our sweet Holy Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Let us invite our sweet Holy Spirit. Without Holy Spirit, we cannot do nothing. He is our teacher. He is our comforter. The word of the Lord says in the book of Romans, Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of Romans says uh, 8. The book of Romans 8, uh, 26 to 27. I'm reading in Jesus' name. Likewise, the Spirit also uh, uh, helped uh, our infirmities. For the we and know the not what we should pray for as uh, we ought. But uh, the Spirit uh, itself uh, make it intercession for us with a uh, groundness uh, which, uh, can, which cannot uh, be uttered. And he that searches their heart and knoweth what is in their mind of their spirit, because he may make it a intercession for their sins according to the will of God. Hallelujah. According to the will of God, sweet Holy Spirit of God, make intercession for you and I. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do nothing. We depend on him 24 hours of the day. Let us welcome in our means. We know he's with us. Let us welcome him. Let us reverence him right now in Jesus' name. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord. 
Holy Spirit, come and take total control over this moment. Come and lead us. Come and guide us. Come and modify us. Come and teach us how to pray. Come and take control over this moment. Come and have your way in our lives. 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 Come and have your way in our Hallelujah. The book of uh, Hallelujah. I'm sorry. The book of uh, the book of Isaiah 54. The book of Isaiah 54 verse 15. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. Behold, Hallelujah. Behold, a day they shall they surely gather together, but uh, but but not uh, by me. Whosoever shall they gather together against the day, shall they fall for thy sake. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Whosoever, as the word of the Lord says here, whosoever that gather against you, against, against me, shall fall for our sake. Whosoever, they shall surely gather. They gather to who do what? The enemy of our souls gather to do what? To scatter, to destroy. To kill, that is why they gather. To steal, that is why they gather. But we are here, Almighty God said, they shall fall for our sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to pray. We are going to ask Father God, Father, Almighty God, now rise and let us scatter. Whosoever that gather against me, wherever they gather, on the on the land or the sea, under the sea, the first heaven, the second heaven, sir, in the sun, in the moon, in the, in, the, in the stars, Father, let them fall and scatter for my sake. In Jesus' name, let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, 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 we are going to pray for the servant of God, whom God will use to be a blessing to us this day. Uh, this at uh, this moment, we are going to thank God for her life and thank God to bless her and thank God to strengthen her and thank God to give her more, 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 more spiritual, more, more, more bonus for God to give her more bonus, more uh, wisdom in the name of Jesus to put uh, for God to put His word in her mouth to speak to us in the name of Jesus. Man. Let us pray for her, cover her and her family and her household with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Let us pray for her in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, the Lord King of Glory will commit the honor of your son. Come pass in the person, don't be afraid. More bonus, more bonus. Let your message be heard. 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 Let your message be he
that's so so fine thing Jesus did do. I say that's so so wonder Yahweh did do it. That's so so wonder Jesus did do. Eh, he has done it for us. Eh, he has done it for us. Eh, he has done it for us. Not so so wonder Jesus did do. I say, hey, he go do one for us. Hey, he go do one for us. Hey, he go do one for us. Not so so wonder Jesus did do. He sugar my tea and butter a bread. Na so so wonder Jesus he do. He sugar na tea and butter a bread. Na so so wonder Jesus he do. Hey, you will do it for us. Hey, he has done it for us. Hey, he has done it for us. Na so so wonder Jesus he do. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. When Jesus got the victory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Ah, Jesus God the victory. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Ah, Jesus God the victory. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yes. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do marvelous things again. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, he's here to do marvelous things again. What a marvelous God, what a faithful father, he has done wonderful things for us. What a marvelous God, what a mighty, he's here to do marvelous things again. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous he has done my things for us. What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! He has to do my things again. The thing our mother could not do, our father could not. Those are the things that He has done for us. He's the unchangeable God and the reliable God, and He will do it again and again. What can we say? What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God! What a marvelous! He's yet to do marvelous things again. Father, unto you, eh? Be all the glory. Unto you, Jehovah, be all the honor. Unto you, ancients of the be all the glory and adoration forevermore. Daddy, unto you, eh? Be all the glory. Unto you, Daddy, eh? Be all the honor. Unto you, ancients of the see all the glory. And adoration forevermore. Wonder, 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 hey, wonder, wonder, hey. wonder, 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 wonder,
worship God. Wanda, wanda, wanda. Hey, we will praise him forever. Wanda, wanda, wanda. I want to love him forever. Wanda, wanda, wanda. Hey, wanda, wanda. Hey, wanda, wanda, wanda. Hey, wanda, wanda. Alleluia. Kabie o si o. Kabie o si. Kabie o si o. Kabie o si o. Kabie o si. Kabie.
talk to me, talk to me, let you spoke so tenderly, Lord, where you are there, where you talk there, by the sea. Help me follow in your footsteps that trod the soul of Galilee. Teach me, Lord, to pray in the garden of Gethsemane, hold my hands, hold my hands, teach me, Lord, to understand all my duty. All the beauty of your love. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I just want to thank you. I want to bless your holy name for being God, for being great, for being mighty, for being faithful, for bringing us again here, Lord. I just want to say thank you. I am thanking you for another evening, oh Father. I am thanking you because you are so great, oh Lord. You are so faithful, mighty Father. Thank you for today. We want to thank you for the message you have ahead of us. We want to thank you for the exhortation. We thank you for the prayer point. We thank you, Lord, because by faith, we know you have already answer them, you will answer them, oh Lord God Almighty, because you say when we call, you hear us and you answer us. Father, we want to say thank you. Jehovah King of Glory, I submit my tongue under your control. I pray, the Almighty Father, that may you roll my tongue for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let any word that will come out of my mouth, any word that will proceed out of my mouth, let it please you and glorify your name. Let those very words, oh Lord, scatter the kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, I seal this message today with the blood of oh, Jesus. Lord. Holy Spirit, you are the strength of the message in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We we'll give you all the praise and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, Star Regista Fisher, all the other sister, the people online, I greet you in the name of Jesus according to your own time. It might be morning, it might be afternoon, it might be night, anyone. God bless you. Hallelujah. May God still bless you. Let us just quickly open our book in the our Bible in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, for, uh, chapter 28, verse 13 and 14. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I read. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And that shall be, be, be that shall be above only. And that shall not be beneath. If that if that thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I commanded thee this day to observe and do, to observe and to do them. 14. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I commanded thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is a blessed father. He knows what is good for his children. He knows how to direct his children. We are going to go a little bit deep in this scripture today. Hallelujah. The title of our message is Blessing in Obedience. Blessing in Obedience. That is obedient to the word of God. Hallelujah. Blessing in Obedience to the word of God. This very scripture is something. Talking the key point. This very scripture is something that many of us will recite it day in, day out. We talk about this scripture. And funny enough, even the unbeliever, they are so familiar to this scripture. We talk about it. Oh, I will be the head and not the tail. Oh, I don't know. 
we talk about it, but do we really sit down to understand it? And most of the time we talk about the part A and B, nobody ever talk about the part C of the message. The part C that is talking about the commandment, about if, he said he will bless us, if, we we'll never go to this if, we we'll just remain, I am the head, I am not the day. I will be above and not beneath. Yes, it's true. But there is a condition. Hallelujah. There is a condition. How come we never take of this condition? How come we don't go into this condition? How come we only remain in those blessings? How come we always remain and look forward only to see how we are blessed? We don't really check if we are doing it well or we are not doing it well. We don't really check if we are taking all the scripture in his contents. Because when you take something half, then you don't have the thing. If you wear your clothes just one hand, then you are naked. If they're counting those that are dressed up, they will not count you because you have not dressed, you are not you, you are not dressing, you are, you are not dressed up, you are naked. You cook food half done, it is not cook. So it's the same with the scripture. When you take it in part, you just select the sweetest part you take. You forget that other part that is shaking your comfort zone. You don't take that part. It means you just abandon the scripture. That's the reason this scripture does not work to all of us always. I pray, I pray, I pray God is not answering. And he said, I will be the head, I will know the day. He said, he will bless me everywhere I go. But he said, if, did you fulfill the if? I'm going to read the scripture again. He said, and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And that shall be above only. You will only be above, never below. And that shall not be beneath. Yes, so if that, if that, that hearken unto the command. You, did you see the if? If you hearken into the commandment of God. What are those commandments of God? He said, if that happened unto the commandment of God, that God, which I commanded thee this day to observe and to do them, not only to observe. At that, we just read the commandment to fulfill all righteousness. And we don't want to observe them. We don't want to apply it in our own self. And at that, it's just so easy for us to, to, to want to apply it in other people's life. But we ourselves, we don't apply in ourselves. But the Lord is telling us that he can only make us to be head and not tail, make us to be front and not back, only if we obey that commandment and do them. When you see in the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 36, Ezekiel chapter 36, let me just quickly go there. Ezekiel chapter 36. Ezekiel chapter 36, I'm taking from the verse 27. He said, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statute and ye shall keep my judgment and do them. That is the very thing our God is doing. And we shall keep his commandment and do them. And we shall keep his judgment and do them. We don't just packet it. We don't just keep it and be reciting it. The Lord said, that shall not do this, that shall not do this. You apply it, you do them. It is after the three process has been done that the Lord now show face. Ah, yeah, I know. You will be saying, ah, what about those people that does not even know anything about this commandment? Yes. Will you be like them? Do you want to be like them? What will you copy? The good things or the, or, or the bad? You that choose to be a child of God. Those people told you they want to be children of God. When you choose to be a child of God, you walk according to God's way. When you choose to sing a song, you sing it. You, know, you don't only sing it, but you dance it. Meanwhile, somebody that doesn't even want that song, doesn't even want to hear the form of noise in the, in the form, they don't even want to hear noise in the form of that particular music. Like you and I, worldly music mean nothing for you and I. 
Meanwhile, it's something that right now we are gathered here for the glory of God. Some people are outside there in some place, jumping, dancing over it, fighting even. But you and I, it means nothing for us. So should we be like those people that say the word of God means nothing? No, it means everything for you and I. If we are here at this time of the day, it's because the word of God, it really means for you and I. So because it means for you and I, we have to take it fully. We have to take it completely. We don't need to left on some parts aside. If you want to go to, your, to bed, you lock your room half locked. It is not locked. The door is open. A thief can still enter. It is when you take this scripture in all his content that you have the protection, you have the assurance. I know many people, even some preacher, has been fooling us with this scripture. Hey, the Lord has blessed you. I bless you today. You will ever be the head. No, he's not the one telling you. It is written here since before you were born. This scripture was written for you. It's just that when you don't read it yourself, you allow them to tell you. They never tell you the if. They never tell you that there is a condition there. Let the, the one they will say, if you stay your life, you will possess the land. There is if behind. There is if, if you obey my commandment, you will possess the land. If you obey all my commandments, you will always be the head and not the tail. Praise the Lord. Then the verse 14 says, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which are commanded thee this day. It means do not twist this word that I am commanded you. Don't twist it. Don't twist it by left. Don't twist it by right. Don't make it to suit your own thinking. Just take the word raw as it is. Take it the way they give it to you. Don't try to manipulate this word. And he concluded that don't go and serve the other God. The question is that my brother and sister, do you serve the other God? Do you choose the word of God? Do you go left? Your lack of obedience to the word of God is twisting the word of God because you take it in your own concept. You don't take it the way God has brought it for us. After you interpret the, the scripture in your, own, uh, 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 in your own way, the way it pleases you. And when you open the Bible, what do you, how do you feel about it? Is the Holy Spirit telling you that you, you, you just got the scripture very right? How do you feel about it? Who are you now fully? If you take the scripture halfway, you just pick some place that is really sweet. The Lord will bless me. I will be the head. I will not be the tail. That is good. It sounds so sweet in anybody's ear. I will never be behind. God forbid to do what? It's not my place. My place is front. My children's place right from there. What about the condition? If you take chair to that living room, you will sit down. Then you go to the living room with that chair. Where will you sit? Where will you sit? You left the if aside. Anytime you put the if, then something is missing. Something is missing. God has no problem blessing you. God has no problem changing your, your, your social life. God has no problem increasing your spiritual life. God has no problem giving you everything you are asking of him. God has no problem putting you on top. He has no problem removing you from that pit the enemy has put you, has fed you, and bring you right on top, like he did to, to Meshubushe. Me, me, me he picked him in one corner in the gutter and brought him in the table of King David. God had no problem with it. That day, there was no contest. There were no people to question if he would sit on top of that table and eat with the king or not. That is not the problem for the God you and I, we are serving. He can, he can, he can bulldoze the protocol just because of his one child. So he has no problem for that. You and I, we are the problem. Hallelujah. 
We are the problem. We are the problem. God has no problem with everything that he has promised you and I from this Bible to give to us. Do not let anybody, any prophet, any pastor, any evangelist, any apostle tell you that he is the one blessing you with those promises. It was written before you were born. You just need to receive them in a real place. That is, take them for their real context and they begin to work for you. Hallelujah. In his word, he said, he will do all, only if we obey in all his commandments. We do not obey the commandment of God. Brethren, if you obey the commandment of God, why are you still shaving that funny side, that funny shape in your head? Why are you still wearing earrings even as a man? Some pretend that because they are women, they want to make different. Even as there is no way that women should wear earrings. Why are you wearing them? All those rings. Why are you wearing them? If you do not follow different God, if you do not go astray to worship different God, do you know that that Jezebelia thing, sister, you are putting in your body? Do you know is Jezebel is another another God you are worshiping? Do you know that? Do you know that you are going astray? Do you know that you just manipulate the scripture? You just reject the scripture? You just turn by left or you just turn by right? Do you know that? Do you know that manipulating the scripture is worshiping another God? Refusing what the living God has said and accepting what is coming into your own mind. The thing that other God, you know, whisper to your hearing. Do you know that? That Jezebelia thing in your body. Those extra thing that does not belong to God that you are putting is the worship of another God. And the Bible is telling you here that you must not go. You have to follow the commandment of God and you observe them and do them. And you must not go and follow another God. You must not go and serve the other God. We serve them. You serve them every day, sister. You serve them every day, brother. When you go to the lift up holy hands, you are lifting up those hands with fake nails. At the hand of holy. You are singing, praising God under his anger. Pressing, sing, correct pressing to God. Dancing for God, but under his anger. Is that the obedience of God? Is that the obedience in the word of God? So funny when you see choir, they are dressed, they wear trousers, we've on, and they are, they, you know, eyelashes is the one to, to, to maybe to catch the microphone, and they are there just singing, dancing, dancing, dancing. The song is good, but what about the singer? You worship God under his anger. The God may, may be listening, but cannot look straight at you because in his front, you look naked. You look naked, you stand in his front naked, a kind of hearing the song, but you know, I'm using my own word though, but hiding his face. Because what he's seeing is not pleasing him. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the time you go left in the scripture, you go left, right, you turn, you turn. The Bible, God told Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, he said, Abraham, walk before me. Walk before me so that you will be blessed. It means if we don't follow God straight, his blessing must not flow, might not flow in us, the way it's supposed. You might be saying, oh, I already have car. Who told you God limit you for one car? Who told you you were not supposed to be giving car to your family member? But you have one car and you cannot follow God's rules and you, you limit yourself to one car because the blessing that God kept for you, he cannot give it all to you because the if is missing. Oh, 
I'm living already in my house. You told you it's only one house you're supposed to have. Maybe you were the one to build house and, and, and put some widow on, or, or some, uh, you know, people on need. Some homeless people. Maybe you were the one to keep homeless people. Maybe God, 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 God wants to choose you to be the channel of blessing to, to his people, but you limit yourself by not obeying his word. You just focus in that small money entering your account, you know that is blessing. Did you ask God if that's yeah, yeah, the blessing he has for you? This is some question we have to be asking God or talking to my own self. Do we really ask God? Father, if this position is not for me, take me where you want me to be. Do we really ask God like this? Or you just know that, oh, I, I, I have my car, I have my house, you know, uh, uh, my children are going to school, and I lack no school fees, and you think that is blessing. No, God wanted you to pay at least 10 people school fees, 10 children school fees. Why do you limit yourself for your own children? Because you cannot follow all his commandments, you block him not to give you the thing that need to take care of those children that he want you to do. You reduce your own work for him. May God have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Doing that, do you know that you don't really love God? He said in the book of John chapter 14, verse 15. Praise the Lord. John chapter 14, 15. John 14, 15, he said, as short as, as, as possible, if you love me, keep my commandment. Now that you don't keep the commandment of God, how can you claim you love God? Oh, my dear, I love God so much. God, hmm, I can't join with my God. Then you can see, you are seeing the person, then you say to your heart, yeah, now, wow, this God says. I love God. But did you keep the commandment of God? It's not like it's so easy to keep, but it is not like it's impossible to keep it. The Lord has told us. He said, what, when he said to one, he said to all, he said to Apostle Paul, my grace is sufficient. So you and I will have the grace that can enable us to keep the commandment of God. We have the grace that when we fall, we rise up. Even a little child know that even when they are following their mother or their parent, when they fall, they wake up quick. They wake up quick and they are still running towards their father or their mother, wiping the ground on their mouth, on their body. That's the way you and I we should do. No wonder the Lord said we, should, we must be like them. The child never remained there on the ground that because they fell. No. They get up and they are running towards the direction they were going. You and I will must fall and just remain. And maybe get up and turn back. No, this journey is not for me. Let me go back. No, that's not what God means. The Bible said the righteous will fall seven times and rise up. When you fall, rise up. Rise up and tell God that, Father, I need you to continue this journey. I need you to carry on. I cannot do it myself. Strengthen me. I really love you, Lord. Give me the grace to obey your commandment, as you said. Because that's the condition, that's that the thing that will make, you, make him to know that you love him. The Lord created you and, and I, he knows how we are. He will not, he's not going to accept any fake love from the lips. He wants to see a practical love. Yes. Love is practical. You don't just talk. You apply it. You apply it. You do it. You prove to the person. It goes with work. It's like faith. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Uh -huh. The Bible says, show me your work and let me see your faith. Let me show you my faith.
when you don't live in the commandment of God, or when you live in the commandment of God, God makes you a love, it makes you a lover of God. That is when you, 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 you live in his commandment. It makes you not only his lover, but his treasure. Let us go to Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Exodus. Exodus 19.5, he said, now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Hallelujah. If you obey all my commandments, you shall be a peculiar person and a treasure. Our God call you an I treasure just if we obey the commandment. Is it not a beautiful thing to be a treasure for God? Is it not a wonderful thing for God to call you his treasure? Just if we obey his commandment. Amen. It is a good thing to be the head. It is a good thing to be above, always. But when you stand with God, when you stand with God, when you choose God, when you stand with him, when you twin your mind, you, that is, you screw your mind towards the direction of God. And you will see the grace being there. You will see the grace being there. When you stand with God and you begin to do things that glorify him, the first thing he will get you to do, he fills you with peace. Our God fills you with peace. Let's journey together to Psalms 119 verse 165 and see what he's telling us there. Psalms 119 verse 165. He said, great peace have there which love the law. Who love the law and nothing shall offend them. Hallelujah. Another verse will say, great peace unto those that love the law of God the commandment of God, and nothing shall offend them. When you have the peace of God, the Bible tells us in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, he said the peace that surpasses all understanding, that is even you yourself, you don't comprehend why you have that peace. You are just shocked that I can see things that are supposed to hurt me, but I'm feeling good. My heart is not shaking. Oh, I am crying, but my heart, my heart is not heavy. You will be surprised, but that's the work of God for us. That's the work of God. Not only that, the Lord will make you prosper after, after, after you obey his commandment. He will not only make your, your, your bank account flourish. He will not only make that business you are doing prosper. And even that, we come now to know that even our prosperity is attached to the obedience of God. As our heart, our hand to is attached in our prosperity, our prosperity is attached to the obedience. It means even our health is attached for the obedience of the word of God. What is uh, uh, 3, 3 John 1 verse 2 telling us? The third John Ted John, 
Chapter 1, verse 2 said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may, may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. The obedience of the word of God will make you prosper all round. It will make you prosper all round. Your soul will prosper. Physically, you will prosper. Your health prosper. Hallelujah. Just to obey the word of God. You can see that any of good, any of our thing, even our health is connected still for the obedience of the word. It means we have no choice just to obey the word of God. We have to obey the word of God. Look at many things that are attached on. He can only bless us. He can only make us to be above. He can only make us to be the head. Only if we hear his commandment and run quick to, 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 uh, to follow and apply it on our own life. Not apply it in people's life. In our own life. Watch over our own soul. If you don't watch over your soul, how can you watch over another person's soul? Meanwhile, taking care of your own soul can even make the person opposite you to learn how to take care of their own soul. Obedient to the work of God. Hallelujah. No wonder the Lord Jesus tell us in the book of First John chapter 217. Let me go there. First John. First John 2.17. He said, And the world passeth away, and the loss thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Hallelujah. He that doeth the word of God, the will of God. What is his will? His will is his commandment. His will is his instruction. That he want us to be doing. That he want us to follow. That he want us to obey. That is the will of God. He has given us the grace to do it. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. And the grace is there. It is because of that grace that you and I, we are here. It is because of that grace. Some people really want to come, but the spirit of heaviness has already clogged them. But the Lord has given you and I that grace to overcome those things. So now we have to only ask him now the grace to continue to stand firm, to obey his word. Then come into the profit of those benefits which has attached to the obedience of his word. <laughs> According to God, you and I, we must not beg. We shall have and give others if we obey all his commandments. We shall command the mountain to be level if we obey the commandment. We shall declare things and those things come to pass. If we obey the commandment, you see that obeying the commandment bring a lot of authority over our life. This one does not need somebody to lay hand on your head. Uh, by the time I lay hand on your head, you tap the anointing and you will begin to do wonders. No, that is not it. It's true the obedient will receive that authority. But God give us the grace to do it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we are going to go to the prayer, for prayer, let us put our head, let us put our heart, let us put ourselves down and pray from the deep of our heart, cry to God to give us that grace, that grace that will make us to stand firm, that grace that will be like a pillar, it will hold you when the wind pass, it will not blow you down. That grace that will wake you up even when you fall, 
that grace. That is what we are looking forward for. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us begin to thank God, God Almighty, for, for another day. Let us thank God for another day, for making us to enter in this early hour. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Over King of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord God Almighty, we give you grace, O Lord. We adore you because you are God, you are great, you are mighty, and you are faithful. Father, Lord God, there is no God there, you there is no one there. You Father, yes, and honor you, know, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Almighty. We thank you, faithful Redeemer. Father, because you are giving us the grace, you are giving us the grace, oh Lord, to gather again here today. Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you, mighty Father. We appreciate you, oh Lord God Almighty. We appreciate you, mighty Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are still going to pray. We are going to pray like this. Father, bless the effort of all those that sacrifice to join at this time of the day to glorify your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayers. Lord, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, God Almighty, bless the effort, Lord God Almighty, for those that sacrifice, Lord, 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 Lord,
let the iron i mean let the rot of iron fall on any strange spirit that want to pollute my obedience to the lord in the name of jesus let the rot of iron fall on any strange spirit that want to pollute my obedience to the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ prayers my father my god in the mighty name of jesus christ lord god almighty let the rot of iron let the rot of iron fall on any spirit to any strange spirit that want to pollute my obedience to the Lord, to the word of God, in the name of Jesus. Anything that wants to forget my obedience, anything that wants to temper my, to my obedience, anything that wants to temper to my, to my obedience, Father Lord, let the rot of iron, let the rot of iron fall upon their head, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the rot of iron fall upon their head, open anything that wants to frustrate my obedience to the word of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Open any spirit that wants to frustrate, oh Lord. Open any strange spirit that wants to frustrate my obedience to the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any spirit that wants to frustrate my obedience to the word of God. Lord God Almighty, let the rot of iron fall upon their head. Let the rot of iron fall upon their head. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the rot of iron fall upon their head. In Jesus' mighty name of pray. I command the devil to take off his leg. I command the devil to take off his leg for my goods and services in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the devil take off his leg for my goods and all the services in the mighty name of Jesus Christ prayers. My father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, let the devil take off his leg over my goods and services in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the devil take off his leg over my goods and services in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the devil take off his his leg for my goods and services in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, Lord God Almighty, I command the devil and his God, I command the devil and his angel to take off their hands or to take off their legs over my children's goods and services in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that concerns me over my business, over the ministry, over my life, over my health, then I command you to take off your legs. I, take, I command you to take off your legs in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to take off your legs in the mighty name of Jesus. Take off your legs. 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 Take off your legs in the name of Jesus Christ. Take off your legs in anything that concerns me. Take off your hands in anything that concerns my children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take off your legs in anything that concerns my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. We are going to tell God that, Father, I need the grace to obey. I need the grace to continuously obey your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, prayers. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I need your grace, Lord. I need the grace to continue to obey your word. I need your grace to continue to obey your word. In the mighty name of Jesus 
I use the blood of Jesus to wash and to cleanse anything that concerns me and family in the name of Jesus. I use the blood of Jesus to, to wash and to clean anything that concern me and my family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ prayers. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I use the blood of Jesus Christ. I use the blood of Jesus, O Lord. I use the blood of Jesus to continue to wash my sins. Let the blood of Jesus continue to wash my sins. Let the blood of Jesus continue to justify me. Let the blood of Jesus continue to justify me. Let the blood of Jesus continue to cleanse me, O Lord. Let the blood of Jesus Father, as I obey your word, let there be a breakthrough for for any of my transition in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as I obey your word, let there be a breakthrough for any of my transition in the mighty name of Jesus Christ prayers. My oh, Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, as I obey your word, as I obey your word, oh Lord God Almighty, let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough for any of my transition. Let there be breakthrough for any of my transition. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough in the ministry. Let there be breakthrough in my spiritual life. Let there be breakthrough in my business. Let there be breakthrough in my children's life. Let there be breakthrough in their career and marriage. Let there be breakthrough. Breakthrough in my family. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Let there be Break to in the mighty name of Jesus. Break to in my break to in my family. Break to in my business. Break to in the ministry. Father, let them be break to. Let them be break to. Let them be break to over my life. Let them be break to in my head. Let them be break to, Lord. Speaking deliverance. Speaking deliverance. Speaking healing. In the name of Jesus. Speaking healing, oh Lord. Speaking deliverance, oh Father. Let them be break to over my life. Let them be break to over my life. In the mighty name of in Jesus mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. 
I ask for the release of prosperity in my family in the name of Jesus. I ask for the release of prosperity in my family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayers. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask for the release of prosperity in my family. Let there be a release of prosperity in my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a release of prosperity in my family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a release of prosperity in my family in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release of prosperity in my family, in my children's life, in my brother's life, in my sister's life. Let there be a release. Let there be a release of prosperity in the ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a release of prosperity in the ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a release of prosperity. Let there be a release of prosperity. Let there be a release of prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a release of prosperity. Father, not for our mind. Let there be a release of prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let all demonic hindrance to my obedience. Be totally paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Let all the let all demonic hindrance to my obedience be totally paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, my Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that was hindering my obedience to the God, anything that was hindering my obedience, Father Lord God Almighty, let that be a total. Let that be, oh Lord God, a hindrance, oh Lord God Almighty. Let that be a Total, a total paralysis on the, the name of Jesus. Let there be total paralysis in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be total paralysis in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be total paralysis in the mighty name of Jesus. Any hindrance in my deliverance, any hindrance in my any hindrance in my obedience, any hindrance of my obedience, any hindrance of my finances, any hindrance of my healing. Father God, let there be, let there be, let let be, let be. Let them be totally paralyzed. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them be totally paralyzed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let them be totally paralyzed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Paralyze them, oh Lord. Let them be paralyzed. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them be totally paralyzed, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Any injustice, any injustice, any demonic injustice to my obedience, any demonic injustice to to my business, any demonic injustice to the ministry, any demonic injustice for the progress of my children, any demonic injustice for the celebration of my family, let them be totally paralyzed. 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 In Jesus. Hallelujah. The walls of Jericho come down. The walls of Jericho fall down flat. When the children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho come down. The walls of Jericho fall down. The walls of Jericho fall down. When the children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho. Hallelujah, the walls of Jericho come. Hallelujah, the walls of Jericho come down. When the children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho come down. I feel like praising the Lord. I feel like lift up his name. Since I give my life. To Jesus Christ, the words of Jericho come down. The words of Jericho come down. Oh, the words of Jericho come down. When the children of God were blessing the Lord, the words of Jericho come down. 
Psalm chapter 46, verse, verse 1. Psalm chapter 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a present help in trouble. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray. Father God, be my refuge in the time of trouble, in the mighty name of Jesus. Be mm. the refuge of my children. Be the refuge of my family. Prayer in the name of Jesus oh, Christ. Lord, my Father, my Lord, God, Lord, in the Lord, name Lord, of Lord, Jesus Lord, Christ. Lord, Father God Lord, Almighty, Lord, be my Lord, refuge, oh Lord. Lord. Be my refuge in the time of trouble, Lord, Father. Lord, be my refuge Lord, in the time of trouble, Lord, 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 Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, King of God, be my refuge. Mighty man, be my refuge. Be my refuge. Be my refuge in the time of trouble, oh Lord. Be my refuge in the time of trouble, oh Father. Be my refuge, oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Be my refuge in the time of trouble, mighty Father. Lord God Almighty, be my refuge. Father God, be my refuge. Be my refuge in the time of trouble. Be my children refuge, oh Lord. Where can I run from your presence, oh Lord? Where can I run from my presence, from your presence, oh Lord? You are everything to me, oh Lord. You are everything to me, oh Lord. Be my refuge, oh mighty Father. Be my refuge, oh King of God. Lord God Almighty, be my refuge. My Father and my God, be my refuge. My Lord and my King, be my refuge. Jehovah Shama, be my refuge. Jehovah Elohim, be my refuge. King of glory, be my refuge. Lord God Almighty, be my refuge in the name of Jesus. Be my refuge, Almighty Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are my refuge. Lord, you are my refuge. Lord, you are my refuge. Father, you are my refuge. That is, you are my refuge. King of glory, you are my refuge. Be my refuge, O Lord. Be my refuge, O Lord. Lord, be my refuge, O King of Glory. Be my refuge, O Mighty Man in Battle. Lord, be my refuge. Be my refuge, O Lord, in time of trouble. Father, be my refuge. As I run to you, Father, open your hands, O Lord God, for me. As I run for you, O Lord, open your hands for me, Lord. As I run for you, Lord, open the gate, O Lord God, for me to enter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be my refuge, O Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, be my refuge. Lord God, be my refuge. Be the refuge of my Children. Be the refuge of my grandchildren. Father Lord, I give them all to you. I give them all to you. I bring them all to you. Be our refuge, O Lord God Almighty. Be our refuge, O mighty Redeemer. Be our refuge, my Father, my God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hebrews chapter 114. Are they not all ministering spirit sent forth to minister for them who shall be the heir of salvation? Hey, hey, hey. They are talking about you and I here. This scripture is talking about you and I. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We are the heir of salvation. So we are going to ask God that Father, send your, ministry, your ministering spirit. Send your, your Lord God Almighty, send your ministry spirit to come and minister to me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayers, Amen. my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, send your ministry spirit to minister to me. Father, let your ministry, ministry, ministry spirit minister to me today in the name of Jesus. Let your ministry spirit minister to me today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your ministry spirit, Lord, let them minister to me, Lord. Let them minister to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your ministry spirit minister to me, O Father. Let your Let them minister to me. Let them minister to my brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Send your minister spirit to minister to us, O Lord God Almighty. Send your minister spirit to minister to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your minister spirit, O Lord, minister to us, O Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you, faithful God. Let your minister spirit minister to us in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. We are going to pray for those that are backsliding. We have let the ministry spirit of God begin to minister them from now 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Amen. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring our prayer to Father who has vaccinated before you, Lord. We pray the O Lord God Almighty that you are ministering spirit. Begin to minister to them, O Lord God Almighty. Let your ministering spirit begin to minister to them, O Lord. Let your ministering spirit begin to minister to them, O Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your ministering spirit begin to minister to them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your ministry spirit begin to minister to them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your ministry spirit minister to them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jehovah King of Glory, minister to them, O Lord. Bring them back, O Lord God, to you. Bring them back to yourself, O Lord. Bring them back to yourself, O Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bring them back to yourself, O Lord God Almighty. Bring them back of Bring them back to yourself, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let the ministry spirit them to minister in every area of my life. Minister in the ministry. Minister, oh Lord God Almighty in the business. Minister, oh Father in my, family, in my household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, for those that, oh Lord God Almighty, Father, I pass the Lord, bring them back to you. Minister to them in any area in their life. Speak to them, oh Lord. Speak to them, oh Lord. Speak to them, oh mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. This is another scripture that all of us will say. We'll talk about this scripture in such a way that we'll use it to describe some kind of people. But I don't think that this scripture was to describe that kind of a people. It was speaking to the children of God. Before Apostle Paul said this, he was obeying completely the word of God. And he was careful, nothing that what he said, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He was talking for those that were obeying the work of the word of God, encouraging them and telling them that the Lord will supply all their needs. He's talking to you and I. Our God will supply all our, our needs. It is not, it is not the time to complain. Our, our need is not based in the economic of our country. It is not based in the area we live. It has no geographic position. Our need is from God. Hallelujah. Our needs come from God. He carries no geographic position. He's not coming because we, 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 our need is not coming because our president is so good. No. He come above where even that president cannot lay hand on. That is where our need come. Like it was said in the book of Atinis 1, Psalms 1, 2, 3. Say, my help, 1, 2, 1, please. My help cometh from the Lord. Yes, that is where our needs come from. So we are going to pray that, Father, supply to me everything that I need to remain obedient. Anything I need to remain obedient, anything I need to continue to stand obedient to your commandment, supply them to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayers, my Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jehovah King of Glory, Lord God Almighty. Anything, Lord God, that I need, O oh Lord, to be obedient to your word. Anything I need, O oh Lord, to learn something to know, Father, supply them to me. Anything I need for my business to grow, supply them. Me. Anything I need for the ministry to grow, supply them to me, O Lord. Anything that I need, O Lord, for my to my children to be obedient to your word, Father, supply it to me. Anything I need for my brother and sister, Father, Lord God, for my to grow, Father, supply it, supply it, O Lord, supply it, O Mighty God, supply it, O King of Glory, supply it, O Mighty Man in Battle, supply it in the name of Jesus, Father, supply it. Your God supply it. Mighty man in battle supply it. Anything that I need, anything that I need, oh Lord, to move forward. Father, supply it to me. Supply it to me, oh Father. Supply it to me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that I need to bring the children, Lord, that you have entrusted in my heart. Father, supply it to me. Supply it to me, oh mighty Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Supply it to me, oh Lord God Almighty. Supply it to me, Father. 
anything that I need, O Lord God Almighty, to carry on, O Lord, with the work of God. Father, supply it to me. Supply it to me, O Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are still going to pray that anything that we need in this ministry to carry the ministry forward, may God supply it for us. Be it wisdom, be it knowledge, Anything that we need, may God supply it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, anything we need, oh Lord God Almighty, for this ministry to move forward. Father, Lord God Almighty, supply it for it. Be it wisdom, oh Lord. Be it knowledge, oh Father, understanding, Lord God Almighty. Supply it for us, oh Lord. Supply it for us, Almighty King. Supply it for us, O King of Glory, in the name of Jesus. Father, supply it for us. Lord, supply it for us. Us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, supply it for us, O oh Lord. Supply it for us, O mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that you need, O oh Lord, anything I need, O oh Lord God Almighty, to move forward, to do your work, O oh Lord. Anything we need for this ministry to move forward, to continue to work according to you, Lord God Almighty, to continue to work in obedience in your word. Father, supply it to us. Supply it to us in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, supply. Supply it to us, O oh Lord. Supply it to us, O Father. Supply it to us, O Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, supply it to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 5, 12. Psalm chapter 5, 12. He said, For thou, Lord, we bless the righteous with favor. Will that compass him as with a shield? You and I, through the blood of Jesus, we are righteous. And the scripture is said, the Lord will bless the righteous. Who can certain it come to pass if God has not said it? Who is that strong man in our family that will stand against the blessing of God over our life? Who is that person that is going to stand that the blessing of God must not flow over our life? The Lord has told us that he comes from his throne above. And now he said he will bless the righteous. We are going to pray that, Father Lord, bless me and my family with favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, bless me, O Lord God Almighty. Bless me, O Lord God Almighty, with favor. Bless me with favor, O Lord God Almighty. Bless me with favor in the name of Jesus. Bless me with favor, O mighty Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless me, Lord God Almighty. Father, bless me with favor. Lord God, bless me with favor. Father, bless me with favor. King of glory, bless me with favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless my children with favor, oh Lord. Bless my grandchildren with favor. Father, clothe them with the garment of favor, oh Lord. Clothe my children with the garment of favor in the name of Jesus. Clothe my children, oh Lord, with the garment of favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Clothe my children with the garment of favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us with the garment of favor. Bless us, oh Lord God Almighty, with the garment of favor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are still going to pray. If you see another person favor in the Bible, look at uh, 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 King Saul. When he was still Saul, he was not already king. He, he was not King Saul. He was looking for their gold, for their sheep. While looking for sheep, he find anointing. He find the man of God. His story changed. We are going to ask God that Father, let our favor. Let the favor of which you bless us with lead us to double anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for double portion of blessing. Prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, let the favor, Lord God, that you bless us with. Father, let it lead us, O oh Lord, to double portion. To double portion, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus. To double portion, O oh mighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Father, God Almighty, let it lead us, O oh Lord. Let it lead also, Father, let him lead my children, oh Lord. Let the Father, let the Father lead my children to double portion of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let him lead my brother, let him lead my sister for double portion of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let him lead my, my family, Lord, in double portion of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, let him lead my blessing, let him lead me, Lord. Let him lead me for double portion of blessing in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen.
another pe person who was favor. His favor was so big that he affected the people of his tribe. We are talking about Esther here. She was favor. God bless her. And from that blessing, her poor uncle became a big man. His garment changed. Mm. The blessing, it, it, it connected to the people of Israel. That is, even all them, the decree that was made over them to kill all of them was torn off. We are going to ask God the Father, give us the blessing. Bless us the blessing that will change the story of our family, will change the story of the place we live. Prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, give us the blessing, Father, that will change my life. Give me the blessing that will change the story. Give me the blessing that will change the history of my family. Give me the blessing that will change the history of my area, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, give me the blessing that I stand with the woman. There will be one in my name. That yes, there was a woman here serving God. Give me that blessing, O oh Lord. Give me that blessing, O oh mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give me that blessing, O oh Lord. The blessing that will change my story. The blessing that will change my entire family. The blessing that will be Jesus, we praise your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We worship you. Amen. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise your name. Amen. Oh, thank you, my Lord Jesus. We praise your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We give you praise. Amen. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us begin to thank God for answering all our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jehovah, King of Glory, we thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayer. We thank you for being faithful, Lord. We thank you for being glorious, Father. We thank you, Lord, for all my sins. We thank you for our prayer, O Lord. We thank you for accepting our praise. We thank you for being faithful, Father. We thank you for accepting our praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the living God, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you, ma. More Amen. grace, more anointing, more increase so from Almighty God to you in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We are going to pray for the woman of God. We just thank God for using her to be a blessing to us so much. We are going to ask God to bless her in return. The, the, the virtue that went out of her for God to replenish it on her. For God to build a hedge of fire around her and her family and her household. Any power, any spirit, any personality that wants to attack her spiritually, physically, for thunder from above to arise and consume those powers in the name of Jesus. Christ. Let us open our mind, our heart, and pray for the woman of God. 
done in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, my Father, we lift your daughter before you, Almighty God, and we thank you, Almighty God, for using her to be a blessing to you, each and every one of us, to be a blessing to the body of Christ, Father. We are grateful, we are thankful, Lord, in the name of Jesus, my Father, bless her in return, in the name of Jesus, my Father, as you use her to be a blessing to her, Father, bless her in return, in the name of Jesus, my Father, empower her more and more, in the name of Jesus, my Father, guide her, Father, protect her, protect her family and her husband, in the name of Jesus, my Father, and <laughs> Jesus Christ, my Father, and I send your angels to encamp around our Lord in the name of Jesus, protect our protect our family in the name of Jesus, our Father. We thank you once again for choosing her to be a blessing to us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray for ourselves. Any power, any spirit, any personality that wants to attack us because of this prayer point that we have prayed tonight. Let fire from above arise and consume those powers in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord, and any power, any spirit, any personality that wants to attack me because of this prayer that wants to attack us because of this prayer point, oh my God, that we are praying tonight, oh my God, Father, oh Lord, my Father, let you consume fire and consume we bless his soul in the we have come to the end of our program we praise master jesus please if you praise us sunday please join us our zoom and uh, our zoom id is there just die to come on, come and pay visit to us we'll be so glad to see you we'll be so glad to to see you we'll be so you no know, blessed to see you you come and join us and just say come on you just want to come and say hello to us May the Lord bless you for doing that in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Sunday service, 4.30 p.m., 4, yeah, 4.30 p.m., London time. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So we thank God Amen. for God. We bless his holy name, Jesus. And let us share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the love of, the love of, God, of God the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy, God, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we shall dwell in the heart of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. A few seconds, Sana, please. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom.